giving is that March was respect human rights and stop criminalizing our communities. And that's the message that has to be taken to the wrong administration. And I was happy to hear <coughs> Congressman Luis Gutierrez actually emphasizing that. And actually emphasizing that maybe it's time for actually taking it to the next level of, of civil disobedience if necessary. Mm -hmm. And what I'm telling you right now is this. With immigration reform, if it's done in a way where they criminalize our communities, we're not going to win. Because they're going to be taking away our brothers, our sisters, our comadres, our compadres, everybody. Right now in Arizona, there's a law proposed that anybody, anybody that that has an undocumented worker in their car automatically is a felon. You know, you have, you'll be like a, a, accused as a coyote. And it doesn't matter if it's your brother or your cousin. In other words, what I'm saying is, I'm coming from Arizona where we know what it is, what they're planning to do to the United States as a whole in the future. Because uh, Arizona was actually the pilot program, the lab in which they're testing all those all those theories. And one of the persons that went with uh, <clears throat> President Obama to head Homeland Security, now is heading the immigration, supposed the immigration uh, effort, is Secretary of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano. She was her governor. Governor Napolitano made Sheriff Arpaio, protected Sheriff Arpaio, actually was able to basically erase Sheriff Arpaio. And the, what's going on in Arizona right now are the product of Jen Napolitano. She's taking it at the national level. That's what she wants to do at the national level, what's happening in Arizona. And I'm telling you, they're trying to tell you that if you go with employer sanctions, then you punish the employers. And, and then it's, it's more humane. It's not more humane right now. Over a thousand people have been arrested on the on, on employer sanctions in Arizona. Not one, not one employer has, has been arrested. But what he has done to Arizona, it has bashed, uh, basically bankrupted Arizona. Arizona was the biggest growing uh, economy uh, four years ago. Today is the worst economy in the United States. Now, what's gonna happen in the United States is that the United States <laughs> If they do implement that, it's going to be the worst economy in the world. I know people don't believe it, but we have felt it and we have seen it. So what I'm saying right now is, yes, we gotta fight at every front, but never, never put aside the organizing of our communities on a daily basis. And if we don't do that, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a disorganized community that's going to be, it's gonna be fearful and easy to divide. One of the things that I disagree with, with uh, Mr. Gutierrez this morning is that we have to fight for them. No, we have to fight with them. That's a difference. We have to fight with them, not for them. Out of those 20,000 people that came out, I can bet you half of them were undocumented. And a lot of people say, no, tell them not to come out. I said, look, they're going to take them away anyway. They're gonna be driving to the church and, start, and, and, and a sheriff car is gonna like go behind them and take them away. They might be going to the supermarket. They might be going to work. So what's there to fear? And that's what happened uh, in, in Arizona. And I hope that's what happened in Washington, D.C. If we do that march in Washington, D.C., I hope it's not only for immigration reform. I hope it is to decriminalize our communities and for human rights, because one of the things that we would always say is we are human. Thank you very much. Good.